is a dedication to all you folks that are out here uh, fighting against offshore wind. To bear with unbearable sorrow. In 1976, we, we introduced the Magnuson Fisheries Act and we kicked out foreign fishing fleets. We are reliving history today. We have foreigners here reestablishing themselves. Our, our state, our federal government are allowing foreign interests to come in here and we're subsidizing them to destroy our ocean floor and destroy 40 years of management that helped us get to, to where we are today and create sustainable fisheries. Such a massive industrial complex in our ocean that it was going to interfere with radar and make us more vulnerable. That even the companies admit themselves that our utility rates are going to go up two, three, or four times as much. Do we want any of this? No! Are we going to fight? Are we going to stand up? Yeah. Are we going to be strong? Yeah. Are we going to win? Yeah. Where are they? Where's Greenpeace? Where's the Sierra Club? Where's the DEP? Whose job it is to protect our environment? It's in their name. The wind industry has the nerve to say that they sat down and spoke with our fisheries. The wind industry knows it's going to affect commercial fishing. They said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to create a fund to compensate you for your losses. And you know what the fishing industry said to me? They said, Senator, we don't want a fund. We want to fish. That's what we want. We all know, because we've all been counting, when I was here back in February, when I was up in Point Pleasant, we had 31 dead whales wash up since December 1st. Here we are now. I believe it's seven months later and we've got 41, no, 40 more whales. The majority, minkies and humpbacks. The reality is there have been over 115 surveys since 2017, including over 11,000 sea days using this equipment. It's equal to 30 years of sound compacted into six. More studies need to be done. That when the government doesn't know something and they decide to subsidize it, and there are no studies, we are the study. Cape May County, we're the study. There are many reasons to fight offshore wind. For our health, our national security, financial security, and for our oceans and marine life. I am here to fight for our whales. We cannot allow dead dolphins and whales on our beaches to become our new normal. This is not normal. This is not okay. Our whales are dying at an unprecedented and startling rate. And I am here with all of you to light or sound the alarm. What is waking people up is that we actually are watching the turbines being built off of our beaches. They are going to be covering the entire Cox's Ledge, which is almost like a coral reef, with 1,000 high turbines. We're ground zero for unproven technology. We're guinea pigs. We are guinea pigs. And all of the creatures out in the sea are guinea pigs. Let's talk about what's great about this project, which is nothing but people that are getting paid off. Woods Hole, Pew, Oceana, Sea Shepherd, EDF. These are supposed to be watchdogs, stewards of the sea, and they're anything but. They took the money, and if you have a label called green, they go behind it. Because we're not thinking. We're not thinking, doing the research, and seeing where the money trail goes. And the only thing great about this is the money that's lining the pockets. Politicians. All the types of animals that they were allowed to harass would actually be multitudes higher than we have of remaining right whales, for example, of which there's only 350 left. That's outlandish. 
and shouldn't be allowed to stand. First, I want to give you three reasons that we ourselves at CFAC are very concerned about this. One, and this is something that was said earlier, green energy is not green. Right? All right, we know that the uh, pile driving, the sonar blasting that's going on out there is being done at decibel levels that interfere with the whales and dolphins and other marine mammals navigation. But well, where are the parts coming from for a lot of this offshore wind? Right, China, good chunk of it, but uh, there's cobalt in the magnetic uh, components of an offshore wind farm. Certainly when you get into the batteries, there's rare earth minerals. Over 50% of the cobalt comes from Congo. And what is, uh, what is that being mined by? Children. Children, exactly. You add to that, it's not just green, but it's also enormously expensive. A third reason. Not only is it not green, not only does it drive up costs, but it also destabilizes our grid. We're going to need gas-fired plants, we're going to need nuclear plants, something else to pick up the slap when they nap. Our grid is not built for that. And as a result of that, we have a real likelihood of bringing the whole grid crashing down and threatening the electricity for everybody. There's no economic reason for this. It's not green. We need to stop it. Say whales, stop windmills. 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 Woo! Good job, guys. Are we fired up? Yeah. Are we gonna win? Yeah. And we will not give up. Yeah. We will not succumb. We're fighting powerful folks out there that have a lot of money. I want to change. Just turn around and look. Turn around and look at what we have out there. The beauty and the wonder that God has given us. And yet there are big multinational corporations that want to destroy it.